Hello everyone. Today I have something special for you all. We are taking a tour through a dead mall during this coronavirus pandemic. Now this is a very surreal experience and something that I have never experienced before in my life and neither have my grandparents. This is a very weird and different time in all of our lives. And it's definitely affecting all of our shopping malls. So take a tour with me today and walk through Midway Mall in Elyria, Ohio, and see how the coronavirus has affected it. Midway Mall originally opened in 1965 with Higby's, J.C. Penney, Sears, and Woolworths as the anchors. In 1990, a new food court and a wing with May Company opened. In 1992, Higby's became Dillard's, and the May Company adopted the Kaufman's name in 1993 before becoming Macy's in 2006. In 1994, Woolworths closed. After many years of ownership by the Jacobs Group of Cleveland, Midway Mall was sold to the Westfield Group in 2001 as part of the Jacob Group's divestitures. Adopting the name Westfield Shopping Town Midway during Westfield's ownership, Westfield later announced in the spring of 2006 that the mall didn't fulfill their strategic plan. In May of 2006, the Westfield Group sold Midway Mall to the Central Properties Group, at which point it reverted to its original name, Midway Mall. Several years later, the mall was managed by the Woodmont Company. Dillard's closed in 2007, and Macy's closed in 2016. Sears closed in 2017. In 2018, Johnny K's Power Sports moved into the former Macy's. The mall is now owned and managed by Nadmar Realty Group. On February 28th, 2019, it was announced that J.C. Penney will be closing as part of a plan to close 27 stores nationwide. The store closed on July 5th, 2019. As of now, there is no anchors at the Midway Mall. And again, I did film this at the end of March of 2020, amid the coronavirus pandemic. So. The mall might look a little more dead than it actually is, but I talked to a few employees and they said that it almost always looks like this. Down here in the former Macy's is a Johnny K's Power Sports. And actually, personally, I really don't like Johnny K's Power Sports. I had bought a used four-wheeler from them and um, turns out it didn't have a title and they were trying to off it on me. And uh, luckily I got my money back after I had to get a lawyer and everything, but uh, they're not a very good company and uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend buying used from them. But uh, that was at a different one of their locations. It was the location in Niles, Ohio, and this is the location in Elyria. Okay, so moving along, I'll fast forward through this part since we already walked down the other way. And we're gonna be coming up on the JCPenney and one of the other anchors. So off to the left is actually the reason we came to this mall, the Vision Works. Uh, this was the only Vision Works open in the area that was still taking eye appointments. And my dad had to go, so I tagged along on the ride and filmed the mall.
So this is the former J.C. Penney's that recently closed at the mall, leaving no anchors. I'm not really sure what that shed was for, but maybe it was for like the Easter Bunny or something, but that's definitely not going on right now with social distancing, so I don't know. One thing I want to say as this video is closing up, I've noticed my channel has grown over the past few months and I just want to thank every single one of my subscribers and viewers for watching. Um, I plan to keep putting out great content through 2020 and we are going to get through this coronavirus pandemic everyone. I pray that we are and I know that we are and we just need to stay strong and we are all in this together. So that's going to conclude my video tour of Midway Mall during the coronavirus. Thank you for watching everyone.